Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. This is Meliza. I just wanted to do a quick little um, design team um, project with you guys featuring the Happy Crafter Shop. If you guys didn't see my Instagram post, um, this is my first attempt to make this popsicle gift box from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, yeah, this is my first one. Um, this thing is kind of flimsy. So um, this next attempt, I'm going to try to um, make it more sturdier because like I said, this is just a prototype. Um, as you can see, it's kind of messy right here. I glued something, a firework right here, but um, taking photos of it, it kind of um, made my popsicle box look all wonky. So I had to take this off just to um, do photos and videos and reels um, with this project but I think it's so cute. And this is going to be the Scrap Diva butterfly bow, the newest butterfly bow that she has in her shop. Super cute. And um, with the icing, I did layer it with um, and cut it in foam. So um, the reason why I want to do a happy crafter project with you guys because um, I wasn't planning on doing a 4th of July popsicle. I wanted to use my... Um, Happy Crafter um, watermelon kit and make a watermelon pop. Um, so uh, when I received this die in the mail, I picked out these um, six by six paper pads. And then I, when I opened up the die, I realized um, these will be too small to use. As you can see. So I had to scrap that idea and um, I just kind of just gave up on the the idea of it and then made my little 4th of July pop. Um, so I went a different route. I woke up refreshed and I took some basil paper, cut this in some red basil paper, the drippy, and then I did use this cardstock for the base of my thing and then you guys, I took the Strawberry Mini Album die, used the, the seed plate, cut some seeds. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see the shininess of it. It's like some shiny craft black cardstock. Cut out some seeds so I could make my watermelon pop. And I cut out um, a second one right here and I'm going to attempt to do a strawberry one. I cut out the mini album leaf. So I'm going to focus on the watermelon. I got my watermelon kit right here. I pulled out my strawberry kit. Um, and since I have you guys on here, these are the, some of the things that I have been working on. I grabbed these from Amazon and these are like the boutonniere pins and I glued some cabochons onto them. I love these cabochons. I went back in her shop and they're all sold out. I just love how big and yeah, chunky these are. But I made a few of those. Um, if you guys didn't see my Instagram, I made a, a pride dangle. I loved how this turned out. Um, I'm going to do this one eventually, but just waiting. What else did I work on? Oh, here's another pin that I did. So from their strawberry kit, it came with like these um, string, I don't know what you guys call this. And then um, one of those pins, I add one of her handmade flowers to keep this in place. But yeah, I have my strawberry kit, this watermelon kit, came with so much goodies. So I do want to make a dangle. Look all these charms it comes with and all these um, cabochons. So yes, I'm gonna have fun decorating um, my popsicle. And then I did bring out um, these handmade flowers by Lisa to decorate it. Maybe use some of those. <clears throat> but I think this route, I'm going to try to use double-sided tape. The first one I did use glue. Um, 
let's see my desk is a mess this is how I craft my my desk always looks like this when I craft um, I did cut out um, a popsicle stick I'm not sure if I want to layer it on the inside of this or on the outside I think probably on the inside to add a little bit of sturdiness and then um, make sure I glue down these flaps um, make it make it more secure I don't know it's kind of the way I glued it I just want to find a different way to make it a little bit more sturdy what else okay let's get into the box so you just cut this piece out once and then that's the top of the box for your inner gift box um, this is the base you cut that out once and if you want to layer like different patterns you could cut it out more than once this is the top this is the bottom and then this is the one that you do cut out twice and this is the sides of your box and this is the popsicle stick and then um, the drippy the drippy drip if you want to use it and I've been using foam for that to add a little bit more dimension I liked how that turned out so I'm doing the same for this one so let's move these pieces off to the side let's see so I have a 110 pound cardstock I'm gonna layer this basil on top so let's just do the inner box per first because that's going to give me the most of a headache because it is kind of tricky, not tricky, but I'm going to try to use double sided tape this time around. Making sure I have all my pieces. I actually need to cut another green one out, but I'll do that in a second let's see probably you guys need to remember when we say that there's a kit out you guys need to run to Lisa's store um, because they sell out so quick I know I get messages all the time like oh I was going to get it, but by the time I went on, everything sold out. Okay, once I tell you guys that there's a kit out, you have to go get it. You know, this is gonna. This is a rare occasion of you guys catch me crafting live, not live, but real time because I don't like to be put on the spot. So this is how I want the box to look on, on the inside and then on the outside as well. I need to cut out another oop, green base. So let's do these pieces. I need to find my bone folder. Thought I just had it. Oh, here it goes. So there's going to be a long flat and then a shorter flat. The long flat will be the what you use on the bottom. 
And then you do have to fold on these inner creases as well. And um, I think the why my popsicle stick is kind of wonky is because I um, glued um, the popsicle stick part um, like towards the end. I don't know, but I need to make sure I focus on that part and make sure it's it on their right. The only thing with um, the textured cardstock is trying to find these score lines. Okay. So this makes the bottom of your um, box. You add the popsicle sticks in here. I'm actually, so with this part, it has that little flap. You combine these two together and on there like that but I'm gonna time-lapse this and put this together and then um, I'll decorate this box with you guys using my happy crafter shop kit So here's how it looks like. I think I liked how um, I used the popsicle in the middle of the stick. Adds a little bit more secureness. Here's the back. Now it's time to decorate. Um, let's see what we have in here. How I want to decorate it. Let's see. I think I might use some of these appliques. I'm gonna make a dangle out of those. So I did cut out a treat for you. Um, that's a KS craft eye. would be cute if I had like a little shaker right there on top. Probably next go around. Oop. Okay, I'm just going to take 
take those ones out for now. I think I'm going to take some, what is it called? Glossy accents and then pour some of this on top to add a little bit more texture to our little drip. Actually, let me do that now and test that out. Let's see. Okay, I got my glossy accents right here. Got my little spoon. We'll just do it um, to the front of the box for now. And then if it looks good, after it dries, I'll do the back. So um, let's take this glossy accents. It's so hard to craft because I have this, um, my phone right here in front of my face. So I'm trying not to like hit my phone, the tripod. Okay. I'm going to make sure I saturate this good because it is sea beads. And it's going to, once it dries, it's going to have like a, well, it's called glossy accent. So glossy effect to that. So I think it's going to probably look pretty cool. Okay. Hopefully this works and looks cool. Let's take our little sea beads. I guess we'll try to zoom in so you can see me fail. But this mix is so perfect for um, Shakers. Actually, I think there was some watermelon clay beads. I'll stick a few on here for fun, even though they're thick. We'll stick just two. Hopefully this dries really nice, but okay, let that dry. Um, I cut out a treat for you and I couldn't find my, like my thinner white foam. So I only had like a, I think this is five millimeter foam had a small little chunk of that so it's gonna really pop out
but I hope you guys have or will or start ordering from the Happy Crafter Shop. Um, please use code Meliza10 to save. But um, just so perfect um, her kits and everything. Because with all my projects, I'm always using um, items from her shop to decorate my projects with. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I was out of focus while um, decorating this. But I stuck a little watermelon um, in between the petals of the flower. And yeah, and I totally forgot, I cut out these seeds to use the seeds um, onto my thing. So I'm going to add the seeds on here real quick. Hopefully I wasn't brain for that, but here she is. I think um, it makes a difference having the watermelon seeds to this. And then I don't know if I showed that, but I added a little cabbage on to the bottom of my stick. And then I put the rest of my flowers in there and added some watermelon cabbage on. Ready to go. But yes, go check out Lisa's shop. Um, 
And when I say that there's a kit up, you guys better go run. I even text my friend. I know she's at work and stuff, and I always text her, Lisa has a new kit in her shop. You better go grab it fast. And she always does. But um, yes, use code Melissa 10 to save. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little hot mess project craft with me. Um, I'm still practicing on doing like little craft with me videos and stuff like that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye.